trying ultra thick print again and it's actually sticking it is way ridiculous each line looks like it's almost two mil actually it's Turn this bad boy on, zero it. Let's see if I can do this. Almost two and a half. Good lord. Two point three mil wide each line. Look at this bastard go. <clears throat> Took a bunch of tuning in Kura. <clears throat> then a bunch of tuning in <clears throat> the actual printer itself. And as you can see, because I didn't bother to lay down another layer, because I guess this is still a waste, but we'll see. If it actually works, I might actually keep this nozzle and use it the way it is a mil and a half nozzle I undersized it in Cora because if I was putting true dimensions it wasn't sticking now it is this is still a 1.75 millimeter filament that when it gets extruded I get almost 1.8 millimeter round Here's some scrap filament. Let me see. Where's the scraps when you need them? That. Oh. Is this it? Nope. Ah, this looks like it's it. Oops. Sorry, it's a little difficult to hold all of this. And can you see that? 1.83 mil. So the filament is actually growing through the nozzle. That is the strangest experiment ever. This is like the race to ultra low resolution. Yeah, it's still 0.4 millimeter height is what I said and this is actually very use usable I mean if you can see it actually doesn't look horrible for parts that are big it cuts down the print time by two-thirds this is supposed to be a six-hour print and Actually running a rather large filament looks like it works. I mean, I'm going to check the tolerances and things like that. I mean, I made some changes in the drawing as well, so. But those changes had nothing to do with the actual print. They have more to do with the um, design itself. I needed two more switches. Uh, I needed one more switch, so I ended up getting rid of one larger switch and putting two smaller switch holes so I can run four of these scavenged from power supply switches on my front panel yes I need four you will see and of course my heated chamber fan is actually working I might actually leave this thing on and see how that does as far as stability and even the guys that were printing with syringe needles were not running nozzles this huge it's this is uh how can I say this? This is almost industrial. It's not a race to make it smaller. It's a race to make it faster. And 
if I can extrude more material instead of extruding 50,000 lines and I can extrude 10,000 well yeah maybe I'm losing a little bit of resolution who cares um, I mean this thing is delivered parts that look excellent like so the 0.4 millimeter nozzle at like 0.3 mil height but this is running 0.4 mil height but still you can still see where the machine has actually gone through there and no I didn't polish this this is just the way it came out the plastic was a bit weird and this thing keeps popping But or not, it's printed. There was no support material here, so it's crap. But the holes are there. I'm actually quite curious. This is 100% infill, and it took an hour and 15 minutes so far, and it's nearly two o'clock in the morning. So I'm getting no sleep tonight. It's almost done. It is almost done. Next shot is when it's done, I guess. You never believe it. This is what one and a half mil nozzle gets you. Not terrible. I've had worse actually. Yeah, the sides are not all that great. I'll we'll probably get a sanding, but things are starting to fit. And they're proper sized. Hmm. Well, looks like I'm going to bed.